So link state routing, yeah, OSPF or open shortest path first is uh, an example of um, link state routing protocol. Now, why so? So I, I would just like to uh, pull up my uh, whiteboard to explain how this would ideally work. So in this case, what happens is from the node, uh, say a router, it would try to form neighbor relationship with the next node. And through that, what it intends to do is pass on the information that it has learned from another router or node to the uh, newly uh, neighbor, newly formed neighbor rather, right? So through these formation of neighbor relationship with the adjacent routers, uh, it, it's just maintaining the link state connections or informations um, in, in a way that, you know, it can reliably transfer them between each other with the help of multicast, um, you know, that are sent across. Now, we'll get into detail of to what address are they sent so that they can listen to each other and all. But to highlight at um, a, a higher level, just to show you that um, link state routing is all about constructing a, a topology or a map um, such that each nodes who are connected to each other with uh, in a direct way forming neighbor relationship could exchange the link state information or the uh, connectivity information with each other such that um, you know they, they can form uh, the routing table or formulate or populate the routing table in each router um, thereby guiding traffic in the shortest path possible right so each node which is part of this map that's created they can independently calculate what is the best path best logical path from one point uh, that is the point where they are sitting to the destination right so how is it able to do that so once there is an exchange of um, the link state information um, this this algorithm called Dijkstra's algorithm right Dijkstra's SPF for shortest path first algorithm uh, which allows calculation of the best path from any node to the destination and get making it added to the routing table right so that's the way